Hey all, this is William Sider again, and I wanted to talk to you about a topic that's pretty important to me. But before I get into it, I want to give you some background story about where I'm coming from, where I've been, and uh, what kinds of things have driven me to, to be where I am at now in front of you and hoping to bring you along with me. I want to talk to you about childhood, okay? When I was young, when I was in, you know, grammar years and in, in elementary school, and I played uh, baseball. I played Little League. And it was something that I played every single year, whether I really wanted to or not, my family signed me up. Um, I was mediocre at best at the game. Um, I would get up there and I would strike out or every once in a while get a tip off or something like that. You know, I'd be out there in right field and uh, if you can imagine, right field was very uh, uh, a shallow place to play. You just didn't get very many balls out there, which was fine. But uh, I, one thing that sticks out in my mind, in, in my memory of that time, is that you know, I would walk myself down to practice, get to practice, you know, do practice. I would walk myself home most of the time. Every once in a while I'd get a ride home from my aunt who lived in the area as well. Um, I didn't live that far, maybe about 10 blocks away from the, uh, uh, from the field. But, uh, you know, for, for a kid of my age, I, it was pretty far for me to, you know, take on and stuff. It was a, a lot longer time ago, too. So you didn't have the risks that you would have today. Um, for games, Saturdays, you know, sometimes night games during the week, I would also walk down there and, you know, get myself down to the field and get warmed up and play with the team and all that. Every once in a while, my my uh, my stepmother would show up, or you know, my aunt would be there with uh, uh, her kids, my cousins, to you know drive us home. And and I hope that you're you're hearing what's missing from the story. Um, that, that was my dad. You know, you know, he uh, he passed passed away a few years ago I made my peace with him you know everything's awesome you know well, not awesome he's gone but you know that's a whole nother story um, but I missed him you know because of the kind of work he did I grew up here in Southern California uh, Los Angeles area he worked with the uh, with the industry down here uh, television and uh, movies and he did a lot of night shoots um, at one point he was working with a studio in management so he had to, you know, continually be working, you know, 12, 16 hour days. And, you know, for me, that was the time that I wanted him to be around, you know, the time that I wanted him to be in my life growing up. And I didn't really have that. You know, the few times that he was between jobs, um, in, in the industry, it's between jobs, it's not being laid off because literally a job has ended and it's only a matter of time before you get on to the next uh, shoot or the next job. Um, Still, he wouldn't come around to the games. He wouldn't come around to the practices or anything like that. And I, I never really knew why. I kind of took it upon myself to, you know, get rid of the pain, the hurt, and all that. But the reason why I tell you this, and, and it, th this is important. To me, it's extremely important. The reason why I'm telling you this now is so that you can understand when I tell you what my vision is, what my dreams are, what I want out of myself being a father. And as you can probably imagine, it's not that. I don't want to be the live-in absent dad. Um, I don't want to be the father that I see on the weekends only. You know, um, And that's not because we didn't live somewhere else. Yeah, my parents were separated, but we, you know, my family lived with my dad. And you know, he was absent during the week because of work, not because of circumstances of being in different households. So it, it's a little bit different, I guess you could say, from, from some of the, uh, the majority of the stories as, as we uh, are here in the 21st century. But uh, it, 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 was, it was a hard time growing up, you know. I loved my dad. I, I still love him now. But I wanted him to be around. I wanted his support. I, I wanted him to be proud of me. And I didn't know how to get him to the games or to the practices to see to experience and so that i could i could experience him being proud of me he came to a few games uh in you know little league i mean i could probably count on both hands the amount of games he came to and i played little league probably about six years you know 10 games six years that you know if you know anything about little league that's a very small percentage um 
my last year playing Little League, I was on a championship team. And I remember going to the championship games, I had to take a bus to get across town with all my gear for the practices and for the games. And there was one night I had missed the last bus and I actually walked from all the way on Eastern Pasadena to Western Pasadena. And it's not that far, it's probably about, you know, nine or 10 miles at most, at absolute most. Um, but, you know, it was, it was a long walk for, you know, 11 or 12 year old, you know, and my son is 12 now. He just turned 12 at the beginning of this month and he started football this year. And if you've seen my other videos, you know this. And I got to go to his practices and his scrimmages so far. And today he was in a scrimmage. He had hurt himself a couple weeks ago. He's better now. So he was signed off by the doctors. He got to play in his scrimmage, which is awesome. I'm so proud of that boy. He's, he's doing great. And I realized that my going to these scrimmages is more part of my vision than his. It's more part of my dream than his. And I realized it's because I don't want to be that weekend only absentee dad. Um, he lives with me, you know. I want to be there for him. You know, uh, he, it, it's, it's just one of those things that I want to fulfill. You know, we all want what's best for our kids and we all want what's better than what we had. And for me, that's going to be being there for him. Why is this important? Why is this something I'm, t I'm telling you about? Well, it's important to me because it's part of my vision. It's part of the reason why I have built this business. It's part of the reason why I am reaching out to other people who want more for their kids or more for the kids they don't have yet. Or they want something more for themselves that they didn't have growing up. It's important to me that I help others avoid the kinds of, you know, disappointments that I may have had as a child myself is important to me as a father to make sure my son doesn't experience those same things. Now I understand. He's a boy, he's going to be a teenager soon, and he's going to be mad at me for something. But I really hope it's not for the same things that I was mad at my dad about. I want to make sure that he and I, father and son, good buddies, you know, great relationship, and I'm trying to pave that way. I'm trying to make sure that I'm available to him, which is why I'm building this business and moving this business forward, because this gives me the ability to be around for him, to be part of his life, and so that he always knows how proud I am of him at all times, because there isn't a moment where I'm not. Thank you very much. I certainly hope that you write any comments you have in the uh, comments below this blog and uh, share your own stories. Thank you very much.